Both the drivers are in and ready. Judges are ready. Three, two, one, fight. And hey, look at that. The card works. <laughs> it got completely underneath Smash Bandicoot. Unfortunately, now getting behind, Smash is able to push a uh, bite-sized dragon up against the wall. It looks like that, bent, that playing card might be taking a little bit of damage already, but it is doing an excellent job of getting underneath, hit Smash into the big blue saw, and uh, Smash finding itself over by the red push-out, but manages to get out of the way before Daniel has a chance to push him out the side. Doing a great job of getting underneath. That is a brilliant idea. I've never seen anybody do it, but it is working exceptionally well, especially considering that Smash is a very low wedge robot. But he gets under him every single time here, pinning him up against the corner, trying to lift him up because he has no way to flip himself back over. If uh, he can hit him hard enough and flip Smash upside down, he will be forced to sit out. So I think that's what he's hoping to get here, either that or, of course, or push him out the red side up to him in the meantime. Getting underneath him every now and then with that card, which is starting to get a little bent up, but mostly doing the job. Now Smash getting behind the exposed backside of Bite Size Dragon. Two minutes still on the clock. As both of our rookies here doing a great job of driving. Smash looks like a bit of a slower robot, which is giving Bite Size Dragon an advantage in being able to outposition. Look at that. Oh, he stopped just a bit too soon. I know why. He didn't want to drive out himself or it wouldn't have counted. So he was trying to break it just the last moment, but a little bit too soon. And that does give Smash Bandicoot an opportunity to get back out. And now riding on top. Uh-oh. Bite size is off his wheels. Smash has uh, 10 seconds or so to get it. Yeah, but what is he going to do? And they both paused the match. They both went out. So we're going to reset them back in the arena. We need a clear winner. They can't both be out. They both lose. Slowly but surely driving its way over to the blue corner there. We'll continue again in three, two, one, and again. Here he comes fast out of the corner, uh, bite-sized dragon. It's card looking a little bit worse for wear. I don't know if it's going to be able to get underneath of uh, Smash Bandicoot anymore, but we can try. No, nope, looks like he's just going to ramp over the top of him. So it was a good idea, but it's not holding up. Maybe next time you can build it out of something a little bit stronger, like some titanium or something like that. As Bite Size gets pinned against the wall by Smash Bandicoot, he can hold him there for up to 10 seconds before he's forced to let him go. Now he's taking him for a ride again, this time with one side kind of against the ground. Uh, but it looks like it might be weighing down the poor little robot a bit. It's having trouble driving correctly to get him over to the side. Sure enough, just spinning around. Comes loose on the backside and immediately gets underneath. Nice hard push up against the wall. Not quite enough to be able to flip him over, but trying his best. Once again up on top there. Bite size trying to get a good push. Does get under and against the wall. 30 seconds still on the clock as Bite size ramps over top. Not quite able to get underneath of Smash Bandicoot. It is a difficult wedge to get underneath, especially the front side there, the side number one with the titanium plate on it. The other three sides a little bit easier because there's a bit more of a gap over there. 15 seconds still on the clock. Anybody's match at this point may go to a judge's decision. We'll see. 10 seconds still to go. Smash Bandicoot doesn't seem to be moving, but now Bite Size Dragon's stuck on top. We have a stick with 10 seconds on the clock. Uh, that is the end of the match. All right. Thank you to both of our competitors. Let's hear it for da Daniel and Brandon. This will go to a judge's decision. It's unanimous. The win goes to Bite Size Dragon. Congratulations, Daniel.